Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have got a little, the bag's big but it's just a little, um, Primark call. Um, now if you saw my vlog yesterday, which was Saturday, I worked in the morning and I don't usually work Saturdays, but I wanted to pick up a couple of bits because we're actually going away on a little holiday tomorrow. So, um, if you check out my vlog, I'll talk a bit more about it now. But for now, I just wanted to do a little Primark haul and um, just a little Poundland haul. Can't go wrong with a bit of Poundland. I think what I'll do is I will start with Poundland. Um, I just went in there, really, to get some ice cakes. Um, so I managed to pick up my milk chocolate rice cakes, Metcalf's ones, 83 calories. They're really, really nice. Um, when I'm feeling hungry rather than reach for a chocolate bar, I reach for one of these. And I also found that they have the 80 calorie uh, yogurt rice cakes next as well. So I picked up a couple of those. And actually, um, Joshua quite likes to have a rice cake now and again, so don't mind if I have one of those. Um, I, we also were just like down the crisp aisle um, on the way to get the rice cakes and saw that they had um, cheese and onion pom bears and um, again, they're under 100 calories, and Joshua really likes pom bears, so and I haven't been able to get them in my Ocado haul. I need a plain one, so picked up a pack of those, but I've put those away already. But Duncan also picked up two packs of these savoury selections, so the scampi and the bacon flavour. I'm not really a fan, so they're for him. So, like I said, we've got two packs and he has open one today for his lunch and um, also he likes to take a packet of crisps to work uh, Duncan that is so he bought a packet of these um, salt and vinegar deep ridge so we picked up those um, we're just wandering around the aisles I always like to have a little nosy around um, Poundland it was getting later on in the day so I didn't have a lot of time um, but obviously um, Mother's Day is approaching just happened upon this really cute gift bag so um, I can't really say too much about what my sisters and I are doing for my mum for Mother's Day um, in case my mum was watching but got those and also she loves these one-up whips so you know three for a pound can't go wrong. Um, also the other thing that I went in for was for a set of these, uh, sorry, sorry for the rustling that's you know, coming out the bag, uh, these uh, reusable containers got big um, bottles of like Joshua's bath like bath wash um, shampoo and stuff that I don't want to take the full bottle to so picked up a pack of these little um, reusable bottle sets um, while I was down the aisle I also came across um, the large vacuum storage bags um, and what I like to do is I don't throw um, any of Joshua's clothes away um, never know in the future might have another child if you know could have another boy um, so I like to put his clothes that no longer fit into vacuum bags and then close them up and seal them and they go up in the loft. So picked up a pack of those and there's two in that, so two for a pound. I mean I'm not, I've not used these ones before so I don't know about the quality but um, you know just to keep them safe and dry. Um, and then, oh no, two more things. Um, like I said we're going away. So I actually got Joshua one of these cycling flyers. Um, just thought a bit of fun, we're going to be outdoors a lot this coming week and just thought a little pound toy, something he hasn't played with before would be quite fun and we can all just have a bit of a giggle doing that. And finally, a camera case. I'm so excited about this. Pink, um, pound, can't go wrong, it's just you know quite firm, um, unzips and, it, and obviously side your camera in and it is uh, very soft on the inside so uh, will prevent marks and scratches as it says got a little extra strap with that if I want to but really with the vlogging I'm doing now and stuff and my camera is always in my bag obviously I've been using just like a camera sock and I've, I'm finding that with everything else I have in my bag it's getting knocked about a bit and um, I only got it for Christmas so my camera fits perfectly in so I'm really excited I got a pound camera case because I was looking at eBay and they were like eight pounds so anyway you can save money that was Poundland um, also, as I said, Mother's Day, just got my mum Hi Mother's Day card, but I'm not showing you that again in case she's watching. Um, 
so a few bits we picked up in uh, Primark. The main objective in Primark was to get another pair of sunglasses. I got a pair for my birthday, as you'll see in my birthday haul, um, which are lovely and for sunbathing. But I do find that um, because I've got like chubby cheeks, when I smile, it kind of knocks them, and that just gets a little bit annoying. Um, so I will be wearing those at home, like sunbathing and stuff. But um, primarily went for sunglasses. They came up with lots of other stuff. So but it's really, really cute set of pajamas. Um, you can see there the kind of style it is. Um, just really, really lovely spring colours. I don't know about you um, folks out there, but I absolutely love pajamas, bedding, all of that, everything that just makes it all dreamy. Um, I don't have any problem sleeping. I'm very lucky, but new pajamas help. Um, you know, cute little bow. And these were um, eight pounds. So there's just a little tag there shows you exactly what they are. Um, as I said, went in to get sunglasses and I actually picked up this pair. I think I'll try it. I did try on um, the other pair, <coughs> excuse me, that comes in the white, pink, black, all every colour you can think of that I had seen on the lovely um, Emma Millard from the It's M channel. They look stunning on her, really, really nice. She had the white ones. but. Duncan wasn't keen and I always kind of run things past Duncan or what do you think, you know, is my opinion, but he wasn't keen. But we both liked these and actually I thought they'd be quite good, we're doing a lot of cycling, so I can put them on. Um, I don't particularly need prescription um, sunglasses, um, particularly not for uh, cycling because my eyesight isn't that bad. Um, but also they go on the top of my head and I like to sort of put my hair back with them and my hair's down and stuff. So anyway, don't laugh. It's really hard when I haven't got a mirror. <laughs> what is the thing that I mean and obviously also um, it's still got all the stuff on the side so they're not going to sit properly but yeah so I really like those um, it's hard to tell they're probably really wonky as just them when I put them on because like I said I haven't got a mirror I'm just talking to you on the camera here put my glasses back on so you haven't got my bare face um, yeah so we also wandered into the children's section you just can't not when you're at Primark if you have a little one um, uh, kids just grow so quickly so we did wander in and we did actually need to pick up a pair of slippers for Josh because where he goes to childcare they do have to take slippers in and we got these really really cute um all coming off the thing really really cute little dinosaur blue ones they're probably slightly on the large size for Josh but they didn't have any smaller size and their selection was really limited so we actually got a pair of those for Josh throughout his child um child care providers and also I mean he wants to keep them here but we do have carpet and we don't really it's never really cold on our feet here um but we're gonna let them go to his grandparents um that look after him during the week uh with the you know that he could have them here as well because i didn't want to get three pairs of um slippers um because he's already got a pair at my mum's house so anyway <laughs> rambling about slippers there um second thing i just walked past him and found this and because joshua was waking with us i tried it on him and he looked really really cute and i thought for next week i'm gonna be in a body warmer so it's a lovely yellow body warmer and it is really really soft it's snuggly so even if it's just a light breeze you can put this on with a long sleeve top and um yeah i just thought that was really cute and that was five pounds couldn't go wrong. Sorry, forgot to say the slippers are actually two pound fifty a pair, and the sunglasses were a pound bargain. Um, there's the other pair there. Um, other thing I bought for me, just plain and simple, a pack of socks. Two pounds, three pairs. But these, sorry, little fluff on them. These are the Parisian style. So take me to Paris, j'adore, and Eiffel Towers. How cute! Other thing I picked up for Joshua, really, really cute jumper. It's got a bit screwed up there, so I might have to run the iron over it. Um, really cute little design on it, um, and it actually really suited him. Duncan wasn't sure, we tried it on, it looked really, really cute, um, and that's £5, so I really like that. Again, he could wear that next week on holiday. Second to last thing, just plain old simple navy joggy bottoms for Josh, £3. Um, where he is um, potty training, 
it's essential to have spare clothes in his rucksack wherever we are and uh, you he doesn't generally wear jogging bottoms they don't just don't really suit him um, but I don't mind popping him in a pair of jogging bottoms if there's been any little mishaps or we've been out and got muddy or anything and we need to change um, I don't mind popping him in in a pair of jogging bottoms last but by name is least hopefully this hasn't dragged off I'm really sorry if it has very very cute little pink pop-up hairbrush with a mirror won't blind you there perfect for my handbag um that was a pound quite often i think like some of you other folk will find you will um be taking out a small clutch bag or a small handbag and just have no room for hairbrush and you're relying on someone else you're with you got a hairbrush i'm just gonna pop this in my bag you know can't go wrong anyway that's everything bags empty we spent um, we actually spent £30 in Primark, but we got quite a fair bit for that. And we actually spent £11 in Poundland. I probably got more for that. Um, which I think is fab. Can't beat a bit of that. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching. And I will catch you in a bit.